Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name's Kimberly and today I'm gonna show y'all how to etch um, glass cups. Um, today I'm gonna be etching like team names and things like that. All you need is the glass cup, rubbing alcohol, the etching cream, gloves, because you don't want this on your hands, um, transfer tape, and then the decal paper, which I already have my design on. Okay, so. The first thing you're going to want to do is clean the glass to make sure there's no type of residue on there. So that's what I'm doing right now with my rubbing alcohol. Once you get done doing that, then you're going to get your sticker out to go ahead and weed out any of the pieces that you need out and left behind. You're going to see in this part coming up that I did um, mess up, but that's okay um, since I've used to doing this i just knew how to make it work for me so um <clears throat> right now i'm just cutting out my design <laughs> i was looking for my little thing that i needed to weed the letters and stuff out with and i couldn't find it so you can use anything this I just have. I think that came from like the Dollar Tree because I couldn't find my other ones that I got on Amazon. So um, that's where I messed up. I was supposed to pull the letters out because I'm not doing like a regular sticker and my mind went into thinking I was doing a regular sticker and that's when I realized it right there. So I just picked that back up and honestly directly place it on the cup um, just by eyeballing it. So if you do mess up, you can fix these kind of things guys. So you see, I put the name on there and then went back and filled the little spots in for the O, the A, and the R. So now I'm going to get out my other design, which is going to be the FSU symbol. And we're going to go ahead and weave that out and place it on to the cup as well. So where the transfer tape comes in handy is um, once you have that weeded out, you're going to put the tape on. And then um, squeeze, squeegee it out. Sorry, I cannot say that word. But you're gonna wanna squeegee it out and then um, just make sure there's no air bubbles or anything like that. Once you get done with that, then you'll peel the clear part off and the sticker will be stuck to the tape, which helps you transfer it to the cup. And you'll see that in the next step. I'm cutting the transfer tape out right now. All right, so I'm going to just go ahead and peel that off and apply it to the sticker. And please, guys, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to my channel. That's the square part. Why are you looking at me like that? You know what? Tyrone? I was struggling right here, but you'll see eventually I got it. <laughs> Alright, and then you're just going to want to place that down. Um, for these cups, I don't do any um, special type of placement with the lines or anything like that. I kind of just eyeball everything. But with that tape, you are able to be more precise if you want to. So now I'm just taking an old credit card um, that I no longer use and just squeezing the air bubbles and all that stuff out. So that way, when you go to lay it down, it lays down nice and smooth. All right, so you see what I'm saying? So now the sticker is stuck to the tape, which is going to help you place it on the cup. So now I'm just getting my cup, laying it down, and then placing the sticker where it needs to be placed. Once I apply that, then I will do the same thing with the credit card and squeeze <coughs> any air bubbles um, out that need to come out. You do not want any air bubbles in this. You do not want the etching cream to seek in between the sticker and the cup that's going to mess up design um once you have etched something there's no going back so you want to make sure that you are paying attention and getting all the air bubbles out and honestly guys when you're cutting your sticker i would leave more white space around the lines um it just is better because you can 
work a lot quicker and stuff. I had to be a lot really, really careful in those areas where I didn't leave myself enough space. All right, so now I've removed the transfer tape. And once you do that, then you can get out your etching cream. Okay, so that was the etching cream that I used. I believe it's the Martha Stewart one. I'll list it in the description. Um, and then I'm just putting my glove on. You do not want to do this without gloves, guys. Um, this product is, um, it literally tells you to wear gloves. Um, there's like a reason for it. I think it's like cancerous and stuff. But um, anyways, so you're gonna wanna apply it. You can apply it with a brush if you want to. Um, I've done that before and I, it looked like it covered all the spots that I needed it to, but it actually didn't and um, left like splotchiness. I just feel like doing it with a glove on and spreading it with my fingers, I can actually feel how much it's there. And um, I don't know, I feel like I can be more precise, but that's just me. But use whatever works for you. Like I said, you can do this with your finger, as long as you have gloves on, or with a brush. Completely up to you. Like I would shoot up a kid's party or something. I ain't done that yet. So you can see once I get to those edges, I'm being very, very careful because I did not leave myself enough space to work with. If I would have left myself a lot more white space, then I would have been able to be a lot more sloppy with this um, and not so precise, but that's okay. Um, I got it on there and got it done. And remember guys, you wanna be very, very, very careful to not go um, past the sticker because once the cream is on part of the glass, like it's etched there forever. There's no going back. I had to redo a few glasses um, when I was first learning. So as you can see, I'm just applying this on there. Um, and then you're gonna see me do the other side as well. Now, when you're actually done applying this, guys, and you're getting ready to rinse and wash it off, you can actually scrape this back off of the sticker if you do it very carefully and put it back in your container because you can actually reuse it. Um, <clears throat> but some people, you know, they throw it away. Some people don't. It's completely up to you, but um, I did put mine back in the, the container. And it works just fine. I've reused them plenty of times. I've already had like so many helps. All right, so you see me doing the other side. Um, and once you have this on, guys, you just let it sit for 15 minutes. Um, that's what mine recommended the time to sit. I don't know, you may use a different one. Just make sure you read the directions. It'll tell you how long to let it sit. So once I let it sit for 15 three. minutes, um, Remember how we were talking about that? It off and Funniest like that. fucking thing comes out. So more. again, guys, just be very, very careful not to go past that white line. Whenever you're doing this, just leave yourself enough space if you think that you cannot, you know, be very careful. I should have left myself enough space, but again, I did, and I made a boo boo. all right guys so again just please like and subscribe to my youtube channel share with all your friends once i get to 200 subscribers i'm going to do a giveaway so please make sure you're liking and subscribing all right so now you um this is where i let it sit for the 15 minutes you can let it sit out anywhere um preferably where your kids can get to it all right so i'm back you can see i washed it off i didn't show that part you just want to wash it with some soap and water um and then you're going to want to peel your sticker off so right here i was peeling it off in some of the sticker rip that's okay if i would have had my um my tweezers and stuff i would have been able to do this a lot quicker so again you're just basically getting the sticker <laughs> off um and most of the stuff guys i got from the dollar store um so you can get your brushes your gloves the glass um jar specifically came from the dollar tree um you can get the etching cream at joann's or michael's whatever you prefer to shop at 
So now I'm peeling the other side. And these I did for some um, groomsmen's gifts for a wedding. They're super, super cute. They came out really nice and honestly, um, it doesn't cost much to make at all. I, I'm selling mine for about $5 a cup. You sell yours for whatever you think you're worth. Everybody's completely different. And you can do so much more with this, guys. Like, you can etch, um, like, glass plates and things like that. Um, I seen where you can actually color the etching. I did try to do that to some of the cups because we wanted it to stand out just a little bit more with like white, but for some reason it just didn't work for me. Um, they say to try different brands of the painter marker that you use, but unfortunately it just didn't work for me. So I just stick to the regular smegular etching. I got you. And sorry if y'all can hear that little drip in the background. Our water just continuously leaks. All right, and then after you're done peeling all that off, you just take your rubbing alcohol um, and wipe the cup off to remove any sticky residue um, that was left behind from the stickers, and then you're done. Um, so you're gonna see I'm showing the cup that I made, and then I show a few more that I did, so. So you could always do the name on one side and then their favorite team on the other. It came out so cute, guys, honestly. And they're really, really easy. Like, anybody can do this. Your name and the headline. All right. So that was everybody's cup. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Please like and share it. Thank you.